It is no secret that Texas is growing, but so is the state's homeless population. Nick Bradshaw has been tracking this for months, meeting and talking with those experiencing homelessness right here in our backyard. Tonight he has a deeper look at how this housing crisis is making life more difficult. Here in Waco, as the train makes its way through. No, I didn't ever see myself being homeless. The people here, these homeless people, they are my family. It is now a crime to be homeless if you're sleeping on the side of the road, man. It's actually, yeah, it's now, now an offense. Under the 17th and 18th Street Bridge lies a spot where many homeless would call it a night. Yep, I believe it's only a small misdemeanor, but with a small misdemeanor and a failure to appear, now you have warrants. Now you can be jailed at any time. Now it's difficult to go walk into a state building or a federal funded building because you're worried that instead of getting help or resources, you're gonna simply further indebt yourself to the lack of it all. This after Governor Greg Abbott signed into law making it illegal to camp on public property. But you know what? You're cutting down trees. You're telling these people they got to move, which means what? They're coming closer to you. So whose fault is that? It's not theirs. It's yours. So many now moving to private land. You know, the sheriff, he's my butt. I love him to death. But it was law enforcement along with the city of Waco that recently cleared this homeless encampment. The police were kind enough to give everyone about a 30 day notice that everyone had to clear out. We struggled to get over this man's stuff. Be careful with that top there, it's got water in it. It was late 2021 when we came to visit. And anyway, I don't care, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'll sleep right here. The signs of a tent city. But now this is what the area looks like. Even though the area has been cleaned out, there are still signs of people living here. You'll see a basket with clothes and shoes, and even signs of a recent fire. For some, they made a move off public property onto private land. So you know, this is where you're living? For a moment, yeah. But now a housing crisis in Texas. I mean, a lot of the, the housing and all that sort of stuff, that's, those lines are backed up for ages. and. I mean, it's just a lot simpler if you just go and make your own way, I guess, instead of stand in line somewhere. So where do you sleep at night? I sleep in the driver's seat. Around 25,000 are homeless in the Lone Star states. When it comes to affordable rentals, Texas is considered among the worst. Um, I know in Dallas that the city council is considering uh, limiting the number of homes that real estate investors can buy. Um, is that a good idea, bad idea? W what needs to happen? One in five home purchases right now is by a large institutional investor. What a lot of companies are doing is turning these homes into rental properties, and the rent is not cheap. It's going to be increasingly difficult, not only for the working poor, but especially for the homeless to find housing. Scattering everybody out of the system that they kind of had going for them is a uh... They're causing a lot more uh, tension. You know, it's not permanent and everybody makes mistakes. Everybody falls short, you know, but don't look down on us because we are homeless. Things happen, you know, but God still love us regardless. I'm Nick Bradshaw reporting. On Thursday, Nick's going to go more in depth talking about how mental health plays into a lot of this. Make sure to check that out.